Hello, as you can see, I've got quite a bit further with the the cap. In fact, it's all been built up and ready for ready for painting, really. And I've gone from section 11 to 13, and then we've done sections 14 to 16 and 17. To 19 basically because it didn't make any sense to stop before then loads of stuff on it and took really quite a long time to do it the main part is the, the, the fiddly bits inside the cab as you can see there's lots of bits to put on and build up the windows the windows were, were, were quite easy but you've got to think about it before you do it otherwise you need paint all over the place so what I did was I sprayed all the panels white, as you can see, and the inside of the cab roof white. Then I put the windows in, put all the windows into it, and then painted them, painted all the frames, the window frames, in the finished colour of the, the, the outside of the, the bulldozer, which is going to be sand, it's, it's called desert tan. So it's a sandy colour. It's not quite the same colour as it is on the diagram for the, the, the Meng model. But I've been looking at a lot of videos and it's the, the, the real thing is, is this colour is desert tan. So that's where I'm going with it. As you can see it's not far off the, the colour of, <laughs> of the plastic of the model. So all the window frames have been painted. And the next phase with those is I'm going to mask them all out. So that I can spray everything, so I'll mask the windows, spray everything else, and when I take the masking off, it should all be the same colour. The most uh, the most difficult bit of this was painting all the, the, the inside of the cab. As you can see, it's, it's really quite intricate in there. There's a lot of got stuff going on. The dashboard in front of the driver's seat there, as you can see it here, there's a transfer, uh, well there's several transfers that you can put on it. There's a lot of photographs of this uh, within the video, so you, you'll be able to see much more closely and clearly from those. But the the transfer, they've moulded all the controls onto this piece here, this panel. So that when you put the transfer on, it looked absolutely dreadful. It, it fit where it touched, and it didn't touch in that many places. So what I've decided to do... Is hand paint it all and I'll, I've done all that uh, by hand and most of it was done with a cocktail stick and again as I say there are there are several photographs of it I've done all the wiring that runs around the cab, it's perhaps easier to see it on this one. All the wiring that runs around the cab and there's really quite a lot of it. And I did that with a Sharpie, um, a permanent marker pen. Painted the, 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 the controls, the junction boxes and the like with black paint. And then very carefully painted the wires in with a um, um, permanent marker, a Sharpie. And then, because I've done so much work on the inside, and when you put the roof on, <laughs> you can't then see the inside. So it seemed like a lot of wasted effort. So what I've done, you may see the you be able to see the wire sticking out the bottom. I've acquired a, an LED, a tiny white LED. I've cut a groove in the car in the back wall of the cab there. 
so that it fits in and it's flush with the the top of the cab there so that the roof will fit on without being obstructed I've then drilled a hole I don't know if you can see it there yeah you can hole through the back of the cab there which has to go through at an angle like that yeah otherwise you'll you'll simply come out in the uh, underneath here and this bit comes out underneath but within the uh, the main motor casing the engine casing so that once I paint these black these two wires black you'll never see them they'll look like hydraulic hoses and it's as simple as that they're easily hidden so I'll, I'll show you how I'll get around the battery when I get around it I've not worked it out yet so all the wiring inside the cab has been painted as I say with a sharpie and all the controls are painted by hand and I'm quite happy with what I've done there to be honest I think it looks all right the doors the door opens but it doesn't open too far if you open it too far it clips off it, it, it comes off its hinges so I've set it so that it will open and close and in fact it's clipped off its hinge there now there you go it's back in place the window opens and closes and that was quite easy to do there was no real hassle with that there's some really tiny bits on this some handles like this now I glued them on and this one just I don't know where it went it, it was glued on next time I looked it had gone and it was never to be seen again so I've, I've made another one out of a little piece of wire half mil wire and drilled a couple of holes and put it in I think the main problem with these handles is there's no locating marks to put them into on those so you've just got to glue them on and because you're just gluing them on they don't attach as firmly now there's a lot of delicate parts on this as you can see there are two aerials there um, and the top of that one's gone missing again just by handling it no idea where it went so I have a stash of little bits and pieces and I was going to make uh, a little wire whip aerial I don't know if you can see that Let's see it better on there and I wasn't happy with that but I went through the stash of little bits and pieces and found another aerial so I'll alter that and replace the one that I've broken on the back these little tubs fantastically useful acquired that from Poundland little pack of, of makeup bottles and you get little spray bottles for your paint, uh, for your water and, and alcohol and what have you. And also a couple of little tiny ones to put loose parts in. It's great. Now then, on the outside, as I say, not a lot to it really. It's basically gluing everything on. A little tiny bit of photo etch on, on that handle. It's not very really easy to see from there. I'll put a photograph of that on. And that's about it. That's ready for painting now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the cab. I'm going to paint the body. I'm going to both on there. Yeah. The paint the body. As I say, I'll just show you where, where that wire will go while I'm here. And it will go out through the back here. And once it goes in there, well, there's already a load of um, hydraulic hoses in there, in this area. So it will, they will disappear completely. Not sure what I'm going to do with the battery yet. Um, the, the, the idea is that this will be mounted on a trailer, on, a, on, on a, a transporter. So the battery may well go into a cargo box, a crate on the trailer and, and be hidden in that fashion. And nobody will know what it is then. That's about all we've got really. So it's a case now I'll show you the top again. The top of the cab. The, the, the hatch 
will open and close quite easily. It doesn't seem to sit down as flushly as it could do, but you can sort that out. A lot of tiny little bits on the top of the uh, on the top of the roof, mainly these lifting shackles, and a couple of little bits for locking the hatch down. A couple of little bits. I've got no idea what they are. That's obviously um, air conditioning vent to bring the air into the cab. Other than that, again the tiny little handles they are quite they are quite fragile and that's about it really it's really quite simple so once I've got it all painted I'll get the roof on and and the the, the cab sat onto the onto the chassis onto the the hull if you want and we'll take it from there any comments any questions please leave them in the comments box below good or bad doesn't matter and it would be great if you could like and subscribe Thanks very much. Ta-da!